association with Midwest Whitetail. AFM and AFM Land Cells presents Chasing Creation. Jason Creation's been brought to you by AFM and AFM Land Sales, The Great Outdoors, Surf and Turf, G&G Taxidermy, Franklin Signs and Graphics, Allied Insurance, Acorn Prince, Tire Country, Max Baxter Roofing, Quality Landscape Materials, Cloninger's Inc., and H2O Hydro Graphics. Welcome back to Chasing Creation, and thanks again for tuning in this week. A few weeks ago, we introduced to you Mr. Jason Wall, one of our pro staffers down in the lower part of South Carolina. Well, this week, we're gonna show you his kids as they take their first deer on camera. Jacob and Emily do an awesome job here, so I hope you enjoy. words of Woody Guthrie, this land is your land, so you should have the right to protect it. And of American Forest Management, we have the expertise to help you protect your land for generations to come. We're your best source for forest and land management, environmental and wildlife services, as well as investment and appraisal services. Our brokerage company, AFM Land Sales, is actively engaged in the rural property market every day. We specialize in timberland, recreation, conservation, development, and agricultural properties. The combination of American Forest Management and AFM Land Sales, the most all-inclusive team of professionals you can work with, from purchase to sale and all forest management activities in between. Land. Since 1966, that's been our only business. Give us a call today at 855-AFM-LAND. American Forest Management and AFM Land Sales, providing services for your natural investment. Franklin Signs started in 1996 with the goal of producing only quality handcrafted signs to fit the customer's budget. And from that goal, we have signs of all shapes, sizes, and construction throughout the country. We are now a handcrafted sign facility, also offering state-of-the-art computer equipment. Our goal is to develop long-term partnerships. Franklin Signs is dedicated to you because we have a vested interest in your success and ours. Call today for a free estimate. Have you heard about Gaston County's best kept secret, the Surf and Turf Lodge? Surf and Turf Lodge is not your ordinary fish camp. We offer a wide selection of top quality menu items like our steak, chicken, ribs, chops, seafood, and don't forget about our Captain Jack's children's menu. Surf and Turf Lodge offers our full menu for dine-in and carry-out with our easy and convenient drive through service. Stop by the Surf and Turf Lodge, conveniently located in Bessemer City. We're open Wednesday through Saturday for dinner and Sundays for lunch. This segment is brought to you by AFM. All right, Jay, what are we going to do? This is my first day of going hunting. Well, I've been hunting plenty of times, but this is my first day going to see if I can shoot my first deer. I am seven years old, and I hope we get one. And, well, we might shoot a dove, we might shoot a deer. We don't know what we'll shoot, but I hope we see one. And I hope that this gun will shoot. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. 
All right, buddy. Well, we almost there. Are you excited? Yeah. We're going to shoot a buck or a doe or what we shoot? Whatever we see? We're going to shoot whatever we see. We got a doe tag. We got old Betsy right here. <laughs> I don't know what she'll do, but she'll do something. What kind of gun is that? 223. There you go. All right, we're running a few minutes late because uh, I had to work, but anyway, we'll be there in a few minutes, so we'll go try it. This past deer season, both my son Jake and my daughter Emily were finally old enough to get behind the gun and try to take their first deer. Jake was up first, and I don't know who was more excited, me or him, when those first few deer started piling out into that food plot. Well, after the first group of deer came out and left the field, Jake, you know, he, he was a little worried he wasn't going to get another shot. But it wasn't long before a couple of big does showed back up. Jake was ready to take the safety off. Split the safety off. Alright, don't move. That's another one. Don't move. Don't put your finger on the trigger until I tell you, okay? Not yet. That's why you've heard it gets still. Which one can I shoot? You can shoot any of those deer. What can I shoot? What the dirt broad side where you can see them. Safety back on. What was that? That was my first deer. I got a pretty good. Hey, hey, high five. First deer. That was pretty good. I didn't think you were. I was kind of scared. Then it popped me here. Then I got a little brain. Well, let's go see. I didn't even think you were shooting that one. Great shot, buddy. 
Well, I gotta tell you, as both a father and a hunter, I couldn't be prouder of my son. He made an excellent shot, and I think he's hooked for life. Uh, we put a lot of time and effort into practicing with the rifle, and he just, he couldn't have done it better. He's just a little professional. Let's go, buddy. You hooked? I love it. You ready to get your next one, eh? I'm ready to get the next one. That's a big doe. Oh, yeah. Where's my shot mark? Ah. I think it's on the other side. Can we look at my shot mark? We'll find it in a minute. We got to go find your Uncle Josh. Well, we're going to sit right here for a minute. We're gonna get my Uncle Josh to get the golf cart down here so we can get my first deer on that golf cart. See how much it weighs. So. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Alright, we're gonna get it. Let's go. Grab your gun, put it back on your shoulder, and let's walk on out of here. I thought we were gonna call him. Grab your gun. I thought we were calling. Go ahead and start walking. Go get the truck and bring it back to me. Okay. Go to the truck and bring it back around here to me. The pickup truck, you can drive it. Alright, go get it. Everybody does it. The lonely cheek. The lonely cheek. On the forehead. Right on the tip of the nose. Look at the camera. Get on the tip of the nose. You are officially a hunter now. Get all you need for the great outdoors at the Great Outdoors Charitable. Get all the gear and accessories to make that next fishing or hunting trip successful. Plus a whole lot more work clothes, footwear, archery equipment, and a huge selection of guns and ammunition. At the Great Outdoors, you'll find those hard to find local fishing lures everybody's talking about on the Bass and FLW tours. Plus, the latest from various custom lures, hand-painted crankbaits, brines, bees, strike king, and more. Hunters, there's a huge selection of outdoor clothing, tree stands, all the accessories, and a selection of guns that make Mr. Winchester, Smith & Wesson, and Ruger blush. The Great Outdoors is your bow hunting headquarters. It's authorized dealers for several lines, including Matthews and Parker. The Great Outdoors has just what you need. If it has to do with the outdoors, it has to be at the Great Outdoors, conveniently located in Cherville, North Carolina, at 112A Cherry Street. Call them 704-445-8848 or log on 24-7 at teamgreatoutdoors.com. Allied Insurance is conveniently located on 321 in Clover, just seven miles from the North Carolina state line. Allied Insurance covers both North and South Carolina, working in all lines of insurance, life, home, auto, business, motorcycle, and boat. We represent many insurance companies saving you time and money. While you enjoy life, we'll work for you. Call for a free insurance comparison and remember, Allied Insurance, your insurance saving store. At Tire Country, we believe the best deal is not always the best price. If you spend a couple dollars extra now to get a better product that lasts longer and is made right here in the United States, you'll be way ahead in the long run. You'll leave Tire Country a customer for life. Just ask your neighbor. We've been keeping them on the road for over 30 years. Take advantage of 90-day financing with no credit check. All you need is a valid driver's license and checking account. This is your Tire Country, Union and Garrison, next to Bojangles, Gastonia. This segment is brought to you by The Great Outdoors. Hi, my name is Champ Denton at The Great Outdoors here in Cherville, North Carolina. Uh, I'd like to take a minute to talk to you about uh, uh, ARs. Um, an AR is a very uh, universal gun. You can uh, have one for a home defense type gun. Uh, you could also have one for a long range predator or target type gun such as this armor light here. Uh, either one of them will work very well. You can set them up in uh, many different optics, uh, many different versions or sling versions that you'd like, however you'd like to carry it. Um, also, I'd like to take a minute to tell you about uh, 
the uh, some of the workings of the gun. Um, there is actually a set of gas rings in the gun, uh, in the bolt up here. If your gun's been shot a lot, uh, you know, uh, several thousand rounds, uh, you may want to think about getting your gas rings uh, changed. Shooting a lot of hot ammo, such as a 5.56 round or some of the military type uh, grade of ammo, will weaken your gas rings. Uh, some of the signs of weak gas rings is uh, short stroking of the bolt, um, maybe it not closing back, going all the way back into battery. Um, you can bring that up here to the Great Outdoors and we'd be more than happy to uh, uh, look at it for you and make an assessment and change them out if that's what it needs or just whatever. Uh, thanks and y'all have a good day. Since the mid-1980s, Quality Landscape Materials has been helping our clients develop and realize their landscape needs and goals. We offer a variety of commercial and residential services, from landscape maintenance, construction, seasonal plants, to irrigation services and installations. We also have a large supply of mulch, topsoil, and gravel on site. We're located just off 85 at exit 14. Quality Landscape Materials is where quality comes first. Max Baxter Roofing is a family-owned business with more than 25 years of experience. Our attention to detail is definitely what makes us different. Some of our services include tear-offs and re-roofs, rubber roofs, gutters, and vinyl siding. We are licensed and insured, and all our work is guaranteed. Here at Max Baxter Roofing, our philosophy is we go to the max to cover your tops. So stop by and visit us or call at 704-629-4064. This is Pastor Danny Shortridge of the Dallas Church of God, and I give you a cordial invitation to come and be with us at our church. I believe if you come, you'll be glad that you did. This segment is brought to you by Acorn Prince. Yep. What are we doing? I'm about to get my first tip. I'm gonna try. Yeah. Are you ready to get in stand? Yeah, I'm ready. next day, after Jake took his deer, it was Emily's turn. We got the stand pretty early and it wasn't long before we had a doe and a yearling in the field. There's going to be more of that. There'll be some more coming out in a few minutes. They're pretty close right now. I think you could hit that front one. decided to pass on the first doe and just as we were starting to lose light another couple of does showed up along with a small buck and then we couldn't wait any longer. Keep the gun on the bottom of the scope. Shoot that frog whenever you can. Right behind the shoulder. Okay, when well, that one turns, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Get ready. Finding one straight every time. Can 
see him? Every time I look through school. You know, I look for him in the school. And if I shoot him, man, shoot him up. Well, after a short blood trail, we had Emily's first buck in our hands. And I gotta tell you, I couldn't be prouder of her. You know, to have both your children take their first deer on camera is something special and it's something they can remember forever. They both put a lot of time and effort into practicing with a gun, and they just both made great shots. Emily did a great job. She was a little rushed, and she made a great shot. I think they're both gonna be hooked for life. Okay, all right, our first deer of day. Brother got here yesterday, ready to go back again. <laughs> All right, we're back in Allendale. Um, I took my son Jake yesterday, and he got his first deer, a uh, doe. Now it was Emily's turn. She's 11. This is her uh, first time hunting with a rifle, a 223. Uh, Emily, what you think about it? Awesome, I loved it. It's good, she had a good time. Um, you ready to go home and show your brother? Yes, let's go. You ready to go back hunting? Somewhere. Come here, don't you look at the camera. It's your first deer. Everybody goes through this. You alright? I had to go through it too. Don't move. Hold on. Hold on. Don't move. Hold on. 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 Well, after having both my kids get their first deer, Jake decides he wants to go back for one final try at a buck to finish off the season. All right, it's round two. What are we trying to get today? Buck. Your first buck? You ready? All right, that gun getting heavy? come here and set another stand close by. He's gonna tell us what he sees. And he's gonna tell us what we, he sees. And if we're not doing pretty good, then he's gonna text us and if he sees a big buck, then we're gonna get in the car and run over there. And he's gonna tell us where the deer is and we're gonna have to shoot it from the ground. We'd probably do good here though. But we'll probably do good. <laughs> All right, you excited? Yeah. I think there's going to be a buck today. He's going to be right out in the middle of this field. Well, after getting settled in the stand, we looked to our left, and here comes Jake's buck. Just as soon as we saw him, he disappeared back into the brush, and the heartache set in. changed real quick when this guy stepped out. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Can you see him, buddy? Take your time. Shoot. Wait a minute. Can you see that buck? The front buck? Wait, he's got a buck to his own arm. Alright, shoot. Wait, 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 wait. Can you still see him? Shoot him whenever you're ready. You got him, buddy. I think I got him. You got him. You got him. You hit him. Hey, give me five. I told you you were gonna come back. 
What, what do you think about that? Yes. I think it was an eight point. We got uh, we got to do a little trekking job now. Yep. All right, Jake. We just got up stand. We in the truck. Tell us what happened. All right. So we waited for about maybe fifty. Two hours, and then three of those come out, and then that buck came out, and then they all ran off, and I didn't see the buck. I saw all the does, and then that buck came back in with some other buck friends. <laughs> but I had to shoot the first one, and there was another one coming out, but we didn't know if it's ten point, eight point. I think we shot an eight point or a five point. I think it's We're a seven point. See. You made a good shot. I, I know you got him. We just got to go find him. Okay. You excited? Yes. All right. Well, let's go try to find him. Yeah, boy. All right. Well, I just shot my first big old buck, <laughs> and we went through a lot to get this one. Those came by. The bucks came by. We saw this one twice. He came one time, and then he came back. So we said, all right, he's gone. And then we shot him. And then it took a little while for Josh to get here. So we went through a lot today. I just threw my first book. And well, put the size of him, he's bigger than my dad. <laughs> That's a nice eight point. Yep. Uh, well, you had a good time? Yep. You ready to go back again? Yes. I think your season's about done, too. You're pretty much done now, until next year. All right, good job, man. Ain't sure about the shot. I think it's good. I mean, it's 20 yards at the most. We on a mission. You ready? You know where we're going? We're sure. All right. All right, well, let's go get it done.